Hello, BookTube community. Welcome to another installment of Erin's Book Club. I've been holding up my books that I get in the mail so that I, when I do my book review or book hauls, they're a little bit longer than what they used to be. So this week alone, I got like five books, so I guess I'm ready to do a book haul. Um, if you notice, we're in a different spot. I got myself a new reading chair, which I am absolutely loving. So I've been spending half my time reading um, in here. So I figured I would do all of my videos in here as well. I just hope that you guys can see me and hear me okay, but we'll see once I get this video uploaded. So let's do my book uh, haul for the week. These were all Goodreads books and um, my Goodreads bookshelf is getting full. So I'm going to have to find a way to get all my Goodreads books read and my other books read. So um, I do have a, a vacation coming up at the end of next month. So maybe I'll bring a bunch of Goodreads books then. Anyway, the first book I got was Inspector Hobbs and the Blood by Wilkie Martin. I don't know anything about these books, so I'm just going to kind of show them to you. Um, I think this is a crime drama, drama, but uh, we'll get more of it when I actually read it for you guys. But beautiful cover, eh? Um, and then the next one, not such a lovely cover. I don't really understand the cover, but we'll see. I've learned that you don't judge books by their cover, literally. A Reckoning by Linda Spaulding, author of The Purchase and winner of the Governor General's Award. Um, I don't even know what the Governor General's Award is. Isn't that retarded? Um, if you guys know what it is, let me know. Um, so The Reckoning, another okay title. Um, and this opens in the spring of 1855, so it's like a, a historic novel, I guess. And I love historic novels, so we'll see. Another one with not the best of covers. I think people need to work on covers here. Uh, Bellevue Square, a novel by Ma Michelle Redhill. And this one, I don't know much about either, but some, I guess somebody who looks like the author, or looks like the main character. Um, so we'll, we'll see how that one is. The next one, I'm kind of looking forward to. It's more of a memoir. Um, it's called The Choice. Embrace the Possible, a memoir by Dr. Edith Eva Edgar. Um, important, gripping, not just another Holocaust book, but the universal message of hope. Anything Holocaust I really want to read about. Um, it fascinates me. It scares me. I have worries that we're going to do it again. Um, but any Holocaust book. So this one I'm intrigued to. This one I might actually read before some of the other ones. And it has a better cover. So I'm all about the covers. Um, Say Yes on Saturday, based on a true story by Lawrence Schreiner. Sh I don't know how to say the last name, but that has a lovely cover, and it's a solid book. Um, so I'm kind of excited about that one. This one has an awful cover, but the back story of it sounds really intriguing. This is The Fogue State by Pasha Mella. A novel. It's about a fellow who does some traveling and gets amnesia, but it's more involved than that. But it's it's pretty intriguing, eh? Um, so those are the books that I got for this week. Um, and I guess I have no more news for you guys, but thanks so much for listening, and I'll talk to you when I have another book read. And with this chair, it'll be very soon. Thanks so much, guys.